Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Bulletinfire12 and welcome back to the next episode of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now in the last episode, we took down the drugs operation, so we won't be getting those phone calls from Caesar anymore. And then we did the driving school, and then, because we did the driving school, we purchased a property, just over there actually. And now we've got a few extra missions here at the garage before we venture out into the desert. Because we've got a phone call from a mysterious person who has a bit of a mysterious voice, which does sound slightly familiar. I'm not going to say anything yet until we get there, but I'm sure people who have played this game already will recognise that voice and know who it is. Not saying anything. Anyway, I believe there's four more missions here, so maybe... If we can, we can cram all of those remaining missions into this episode. Normally I only do three maximum. I'm going to try and do the remaining four. I think there's four more left. I'm going to try and do all of them in this episode so that in the next one, we can finally move on to the new area. So, let's get this done. Test drive. Hey, Carl! There's two cars on the list, they say, and they're in the showroom across town. Let's go get them. <laughs> I always admired your direct approach, huh, Bray? Okay, let's go get those wheels. I need a vehicle. I like this place, you know? Where? San Piero, man. My home will always be the Varios and El Corona. But this city, it has something gentle about it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Kendall seems to like it too, you know? Oh yeah, she's really getting her head into this business thing. That's good. She always been the brains of the family. She should get out together and make something of herself. I think she's aiming to make something out of all of us, eh? <laughs> yeah, she the moms of the family now. Hey, who's this truth guy, Holmes? I don't think he's wrapped too tight. He just sees everything from a different perspective, that's all. At first, I thought he was just another acid casualty fruitcake. But some of the things he say, I don't know, man. It ain't all bullshit. <laughs> hey, you gonna become an alien hunter, Holmes? <laughs> I'll take a rain check on that one. Here we go, Holmes. The cars are on the second floor. Oh, great. Why is nothing ever easy? Can I help you two, uh, gentlemen? Yeah, you can help us by going to help some other motherfucker. Y yeah, the, that sounds like a good idea. All right, CJ, it's time to roll. Let's follow the leader, you better keep up. Ah, uh, you a maniac, yes, say? Here we go. All we got to do is just keep following Caesar. Hey, CJ, is this walkie-talkie working? Yeah, reading you loud and clear. Come on, DJ, see if you can keep up with Caesar Be a final. Beat the tram up the hill. Beat some chocolate cake. <laughs> this tram driver must be shitting himself, Holmes. <laughs> Hello, cop. What took you, eh? And just to make it a bit interesting, now the police are on us. Oh, didn't he just... I think he just got hit by the tram. Hey, CJ, watch this! Nitro! Nitro! Follow me down the hill, Holmes! Oh, this is actually bad, actually. It will wear off, but I need to be careful here, because I don't want to overshoot it. Okay, Caesar, that's enough fun. Let's get these cars back to the garage. Okay, CJ. Hey, I know a quick route. Hello, cop. We're back again, idiot. Get out of the fucking road! Holy shit! Fuck, Rose, did you see that? 
Can we think about getting back before I end up in a car wreck barbecue? Well, CJ, your car is slightly dented because he stopped so suddenly. Oh, the door's slightly damaged, and I didn't notice that. I was going to try and get this car. What the? Alright. Okay, we're good. See you back at the garage, DJ. I was trying to get the car back without damaging it too much. Or maybe a little bit of damage, but yeah, it's kind of a bit wrecked now, but oh well. Another mission passed. Let's just get straight on with the next one. Let's not waste any more time here. Customs fast track. Yeah, I got it. It's in a manifold. Shit, I just changed that seal. Must have got a crimp in it. Damn. Hey, C's, your boy is here. He ain't my boy. Hey. We're almost living a normal life, huh? This is far from Grove Street, right? Yeah, I know, but... I just can't get it out the back of my mind. Mom. Sweet. Smoke. I just can't let that go. I know. So what we gonna do about Sweet? See, it's a shitty situation, but I gotta let it play out a little longer, okay? Okay, but be careful. We ain't trying to lose you again. That's right, sis. Good looking out. Hey, Carl! I got a rap to you, Holmes. I know a guy who knows a guy who handles freight containers down on the docks. He saw one of the containers was loading up cars, and one was a match for a car on a customer's wish list. So he marked the container with a spray can, but it might be too late. The ship's loading and it moves out tomorrow. Okay, let's go peep it out, see what we can see. How are we gonna steal a car from container ship, Holmes? You know, the same way they got on. Use a dockside crane. Man, those things are real high up. I ain't too good with ladders. I'm afraid of heights. Okay, I use the crane. You better be ready to crack the container. I just got ourselves in this crane. The ship, CJ. Okay, I'll go sort out the crane. Give me a second. Caesar, none of these is marked with spray paint. Well, we'll just have to try one at a time, eh? Not this one, CJ! No luck, CJ! Try another! Of course it would be the very last one. I had a feeling that might happen. CJ! This is the one! Good work, Hobbs! I could do with some help! I'll help you, Caesar. I've got a brand new SMG. So I traded the other dual built machine pistols to get this, because this is a great gun to get. Stay 
right there, you thieving bastard! Huh? Let's just get the gun and get out of here! I'm gonna shoot this car as well, because it will all help to get it up. Gotta be an easier way to earn a living than this. Sure, Holmes. I guess. But what else you qualified for? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I actually managed to damage the car by hitting the rail. I'm not sure how that happened, but whatever. I am actually wondering: is there five missions in total, or is it four? I think actually this next one might be the last one. We'll soon find out. Hey Holmes, that was fun! We should do that again! Oh yes, I forgot. Yeah, car exports have now been unlocked. Another mission passed. And that's actually a really good way to earn money by taking those cars over to that crane. You can generate a lot. There's three different lists you can do. And you get a lot of money for it. So, is this the last mission or is there another one after this? Let's have a look. Puncture wounds. Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on our shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she drives like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity! You know what? I think I got an idea. So I was wrong. There's actually four missions to get these cars, not five. So this is actually the last one. And then, what I'll do is, we'll end off the episode, but before I do, I will head over back to the car show that we purchased, and we can look at all the cars together, because all those cars will always be there, and it'll be another asset for us to earn some money, just like Zero Shop. I, I didn't mean to crash that car into the police car, that was funny. Okay, I just need to get a good point where I can overtake and pop the stinger right from the tyres. Hey, CJ, how's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? Popped her, just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that puncture repair shit. It's nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. Man, stuff is disgusting. Oh, shit. All over my clothes. That is all the cars collected. And like I said, I will go to the showroom so we can have a look at all of them. So this is our last car for the wish list, and that is actually the last mission in San Fierro. I think there's another mission where we actually do have to come back to San Fierro, but to actually start a mission, that was the last one. Asset acquired. Look at that. 
like I said, this is going to generate some money for us, and we get $8,000 maximum. And we get 5000 for completing that mission. Pretty good, and yeah, no more missions. No more missions in San Fierro. We definitely do pop back here for another mission, but to start a new mission... That was it. We've done all the missions in San Fierro. So in the next episode, we will be heading over to the desert to find out who this mystery character is, but before we end the episode off and I save at the garage, let's have a look at this showroom. So we've got a bit of money here. Three cars down here on the bottom. Here's that car we just got that last mission. Three cars on the bottom of the showroom, and we have got two up here. Interestingly, this car wasn't actually one of the ones we actually collected. This is actually a lowrider, so I don't actually know why they did that. That car we got from the container ship isn't actually in the showroom. For some reason, a lowrider is here. What's cool is you can come back to this showroom and you can collect any of these cars at any point. They will always spawn here now. And these are very fast performance cars. But yes, it's time to save the game and end this episode off. So get ready for the next episode where we're going to be in a brand new area, the desert. And we'll find out who that mystery character is. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. So thank you all for watching this episode. If you've liked it, remember to leave a like rating and subscribe if you were new. But for now, it is goodbye from me. I shall see all of you guys very soon with my next video. So take care guys, and goodbye.